CPU coolers have one function, to stay true to the name and cool CPUs, obviously. But we have been asking ourselves a question. Can a CPU cooler stop ice from melting? Well, let's check it out. CPU coolers are well known as heat exchangers. Their core function is to use the air surrounding the CPU to keep it cool. That's quite different to air conditioning, which works with active cooling and is less dependent on the surrounding temperature. Our setup is quite simple. Three aluminum bowls containing the same amounts of ice are placed upon a Dark Rock Pro 3, a Pure Rock and an acryl pedestal. All the fans are running at 100%, so let's see which ice block wins the race. The time lapse clearly shows the ice melting faster on the Dark Rock Pro 3 than on the acryl block, while the melting rate on the Pure Rock is pretty much in the middle of them. In the end, it took exactly 84 minutes for the ice to melt completely on the Dark Rock Pro 3, 99 minutes on the Pure Rock, and 216 minutes on the acryl pedestal. The question is, what's the reason for that? As we mentioned earlier, the CPU cooler matches the temperature of its base plate with the one of the surrounding area. That also means that if the base plate is colder than the surrounding air, it will be heated by the heatsink. In our experiment, the heat exchange is strongest with the Dark Rock Pro 3 due to its two strong fans and the amount of cooling fins. But the much smaller one fan Pure Rock also shows that the large surface of a heatsink is enough to massively accelerate the heat exchange. And you have to keep in mind that the function of the heat pipe is very, very much limited in this very special installation and not nearly as efficient as while transporting heat. The reason for heat pipes being excellent heat conductors is shown in another video of ours. And so the answer is no! CPU coolers are not able to prevent ice from melting, quite the opposite actually, they speed up the process. And they are not much used as heat exchangers from cool to warm, as the structure of the heat pipes is optimized for the exact reverse flow. So in conclusion, just leave your dark rock, shadow rock or pure rock where it belongs on the CPU.